Hello chaps, this is Scott. Safe Staten Lad back again with another gameplay video. Cracking them out today. Just finished filming the Duke Nukem. Finally got past the first level. I thought that was enough. I'm for losing heavily on that one. So anyway, this is uh, Die Hard Arcade. Um, Really, really good game. Kind of like a spiritual successor to Streets of Rage or Final Fight, those sort of games. Hasn't got the sort of uh, the long life gameplay of those, but uh, this is quite a short and sweet game. So, uh, you know, it's enjoy it while it lasts. And I think I've already said before, but even though it's branded as Die Hard, it's got fuck all to do with Die Hard the film. Uh, you play a likeness to John McClane, but that's really about as far as it goes. And the uh, the building you see is uh, a, a copy of the building in Die Hard One, Nakatomi Towers. But uh, apart from that, that's about as far as it goes, and it doesn't really go much further, really. Uh, there's some other options. Yeah, well, violence off. We want violence on, don't we? Except Die Hard Arcade, here we go. Not a particularly hard game, but um, it takes a little bit getting used to. Graphics quite nice as well, also for a sound, nice and solid polygons. Seems to be the main bug where we're sat in games, the old roughness around the edges. Check out the blood. Looks like they've just been uh, spilling some red wine rather than blood. But uh, there you go, easy enough. You only get two sort of punch, kick, jump. That's about it, really. Now, you might be watching this thinking the same thing I am right now. Oh, you can pick up items as well. And makes it dance a lot easier. But yeah, anyway, what's wrong with this John McClane? He's got fucking hair. Now, if you're doing a digital representation of Bruce, the first thing is, he's bald. So, kind of a bit of an error. He feels strong being a woman. These bits are good, they remind me of Shenmue, they're all quick time events. Press kick, kick. If you don't do it in time, then you end up having to fire them. <laughs> I think this is one of the Saturn's best games actually. It, it holds its money quite well on the old eBay as well. You, Sometimes you can pay up to thirty pounds for it, and as you do, someone's got a fucking rocket launcher, so we're gonna have that, and we're gonna shuffle that along the way. That's it. Blow these fuckers up. Yeah, anyway, it holds its money quite well on the old flea bay. This one, you probably get the imported version, Dynamite Deco, in Japan for you know cheaper, as is often the case. The imports are often. Cheaper than the power. So this poor fucker's taking a rocket launcher to the face. And now he's taking an axe to the head as well. You can get a sequel to this on the Dreamcast, but it's called Dynamite Cop. Obviously, the uh, Die Hard license has gone elsewhere.
These bits are ridiculous. Yeah, mate. You want a strep seal for that? Yeah, blah blah blah. Obviously, whenever you fight a gang of hoodlums, what you want is a can of deodorant. That's what does it. That's it. Sneaky, sneaky, Bruce. On tiptoes. Oh no! Oh, jump! That's just what happens when you're fighting a bunch of international terrorists. The firemen turn up. They don't look very happy with Bruce. Oh no. This isn't very fair, is it? Three against one here. Controls are a bit sluggish sometimes on this game, but it's alright, it's good fun, it's all cartoon violence more than realistic. Can't you tell? I suppose the main difference with this and like the 16-bit um, or last-gen side-scrolling fighters is that you're not actually sort of walking about. It just goes from one scene to another. You go, you fight the guys, and then you get a little quick-time event, and then you move on to the next room, and then you clear it out. Now, clearly, someone's left a and tank gun there, so it's got to be that. Oh yes. I'm talking about. It's like a fucking harpoon or something. <laughs> There's no one coming back from that, is there? If I manage to stay alive, one of the guys here um, comes out of the shower. I can't remember if he's got pants on or not. Oh yeah, he's got pants on. I think these style of games have never really worked particularly well from jump from sort of 2D to 3D. 
I think certain genres have, you know, done very well. You know, as they sort of progress, you know, dr driving games have really benefited from, you know, the extra boom from various consoles. But I don't think fighting games have particularly done. You know, they haven't made the jump from 2D to 3D very seamlessly. Slam that bitch down. <laughs> Poor cow's probably only getting her hair cut. <laughs> now as you do, you get two robotic things just about to fight Bruce. Now I don't remember any three-legged things with guns being in dialogue. Seals man. Get to the lorry. Oh no, look at her. Terrified. I find that the main frustration with this game is just how slow the character is. He just hobbles along like he's some sort of fucking OAP, you know? Not maybe an action man, mate. And it's like when you are, it's a distance from you to, it's like for these, you know, these guys, you sort of hobble along like, get up, fool. Vegas showgirl now, as you do. Bitch. <laughs> oh, 
do one more. We've only got one light left anyway, so. Jump. Success. Bloody hell, he's like an acrobat there. This guy is next to impossible. Literally on one ear, and you're dead. taking half your life. Did he get up continue? No, he's dead. Bruce is dead. Clearly the film didn't have a Mexican wrestler in it, so there we go. Anyway guys, that's enough, I think, so we'll leave it at that. So you get easy.